Yo guys what's going on my name is Tyro and welcome back to my channel. Today this is a reaction to a video game that I've played for quite a while now and this came out a while as well. I'm going to be reacting to some Street Fighter 3 Third Strike but the artwork side of it. Now I've played this game since like 2011 and it's now 2021 so I've played this for like 10 years now and believe it or not I've been a fan of Akira's work, I've been a fan of uh, Daiwi Kenner's work, I've been a fan of many many artists a bit around that area as well. Honestly I just wanted to see what their uh, behind the scenes of their work as well and how they kind of progress into one of the greatest games of all time. If you have not played Street Fighter 3 First Strike I don't know what you're doing with your life but please play it because it's a really really good game. But yeah as I said let's react to the artwork that uh, is, you can see Remy right there. Remy is the, uh, kind of has that um, Gaio and Charlie vibe, you know, with his move, move list. But as a character design, he, he kind of reminds me of an SAK character for some reason. It actually looks pretty nice. You can see all the 20 characters in it. Surprisingly, Gil's not there. And as much as I like Yuri, I wish they could have made the thing a bit more lighter, but it is what it is so that that's okay and there's sean one of my favorite characters right there then this is their post right there of uh representing the representing the piece too well i'll move on to conceptual sketch as well um but yeah this this yeah i like i really do like the artwork of this thing i just wonder how they really made the characters as it is today right now but as you can see this this came out in 1999 and the thing is is that this some of these artworks don't even look that dated it may be now but it doesn't actually look as dated as it is i do like the style that um that daiwi kenner has done right here i mean the artwork here is is great i think there's some posters right here that i've really messed with but this is cool these these are cool like wall posts here i actually like it oh hmm Really interesting. This isn't trying to be as detailed as it is. It doesn't have to be detailed when it comes to like showing people your own art style. Like if you want to do like realistic, detailed kind of character, you got to make sure it executes pretty well because sometimes if you don't know where your artwork's going to go, then I guess it's not really going to appeal to people that much. Like obviously it's your work too, but I think that when you want to come into your own, you got to like do like it's tons of tons of sketches like tons of tons of practice work and all of that until you find what is the right kind of style for you but obviously some people may not rock with it but you shouldn't worry about what other people like you know and what they want to see in your work it's, this is yours so they can appreciate and really enjoy the look of it as well so this is chun Li's, uh basically character selection photo and i really like it looks rushed it looks messy but that's the whole point though when you want to make something come to life you got to start off being messy sometimes you got to make sure that this is like your pre sketch work as well and also there are and don't worry there are some things that you might change up whether you like it or not but you know obviously as we look later into this piece right here it does change into a proper like character design so it's not far off from each other so you know it's just the facial expression right here the facial expression is a lot different to what we had on the other character selection though so yeah, it's not it's not far off i like it so far and there's the move list right there so this is what you do you have to sketch the move list and the moves so then you get a bit of like when you go into it on the sprite mode that's when you know the person who designs the 2d game that's when they basically get to uh gain the ideas from that kind of conceptual sketch and then put it into real life there's um chun -Li in the little girl's hand so in the intro i'll put in there in the intro they have chun -Li and the little girl about to hold hands and this was basically the pre like sketch of that so obviously this is cool i do think it's more detailed not as real not realistic but it's detailed so i like i like how it's trying to portray as, as that it was supposed to look like at first and then secondly that's when later on they start to do more to it so so yeah i do love the idea that daiwi kind of has done here see these are just like a graphic arts of of all the characters that are in the game obviously you got 
the, the living legend Ryu as well right there and then you got Ken obviously and then you got the new ones like Oro and Sean Masuda as well like Sean's my favorite character so far by the way so I think those is excuse the excuse the noise because the rain is is hitting hard this this weather is so bad so don't don't worry about that one as I see this right here now honestly this was the like one of the fewer and I would love to see it more often that to be honest like more black characters in the game as well but obviously I like how you know everyone's their own personality and as well like you've obviously got someone who is from like their own heritage like it it feels like they're not in their own heritage but they are and I remember Hugo from um, Final Fight and we was thinking would he ever be in a Street Fighter game and thankfully he, he is but this this right here is actually pretty cool and I and I love how you know how amazing it is I still don't understand how it's possible to hold a, a tee with a boxing glove obviously you would not guess where Dudley's from right now he's probably from um from England because everyone thinks that when you're from England you're, you're always drinking teas and biscuits and all, drinking tea and coffee and then eating biscuits and all that stuff although coffee is more of an American thing but whatever these artwork is not easy to gain sometimes sometimes you're going to get an agreement or disagreement that's what happens in the game world you know that's what happens overall it really feels like you are generally generally giving people behind the scenes of your work and that's how people are interested to see it when the game is good and the game is like really special to everyone out there and they want to see what goes on behind the scenes and how it's made now obviously it does start off a bit rough as i say the drawing is rough but it's it's really good and i think it's really great that you know they got they got to show it to the fans as well so yeah, and as I'm a fan of this, I'm really privileged to see what it is. Yeah, this definitely inspired me to, after looking at that, it definitely inspired me to do like games art myself. Like I wanted to do like characters on my own, like, and some of them don't really, like I've obviously got so much, but here's the thing. I will show you um, some of the stuff that I used to do in the past, but then I am thinking about doing like videos like that. But yeah, this is what, this is what, yeah, this is this is cool. Like as you can see, Q looks very creepy right there. But honest, honestly, this this is this is sick. This is really sick. Like, oh man, I love it, man. It's it's really cool. Obviously, there's there's twelve. Obviously, twelve is a creature. He can actually turn into like different things. Like he can turn into an axe with his arms. He can turn into a hammer, turn into an axe, turn into a hand. Like this, this is insane. Like how this all came about. But yeah, this is um. Yeah, as you can see right here, he does the uh, pull. But he does the little pull grab when he grabs your enemies. He pulls it, and that's what I like about it. Like yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. Obviously, that's Necro early, early time. Well, actually, no, that's twelve early times. But this definitely feels like Necro right here and then 12 right here so yeah this is this is really good to change there wasn't any changes in that sketch they actually thought this is a cool sketch so you know this would be it and then obviously yang and yun the lee brothers right here they, they look so cool like they just look cool you know it reminds me of me and my bros like just hanging out just having fun all of that chilling all of that stuff but nah this is this is sick I love this man, I love there we go. This is the this is the full like character design right here. Like the full length of the character design. So obviously you got Akuma right there, Chun Li's over there, yeah, Chun Li right here, Elena, and uh Hugo as well. You got the, the main man Alex, who's supposed to be the main character of the whole Street Fighter 3 series. Obviously you had Ryu as the main character in one and two, so you got Alex now. In Street Fighter 4, there wasn't there wasn't really a main character to be honest. I mean, they, they kind of just wanted to put all the characters in. But in the fifth one, I think it was supposed to be, um, yeah, just the usual stuff like the usual Ryu in there as well. But he is he doesn't feel like the main character hit here though. But I feel like in the sixth one, if they're thinking about it, they're gonna make a Luke who's supposed to be like the the full of the main character for street Fighter 6 but god knows when that's coming out so <laughs> i really think it's a bit too basic but i do like the the detailing on the on the mus on the muscles though and the and the 
bit of details in the hair in, in its own. Each of their own, but yeah, I'm not really big on, on Gil like that. I think Muriel's actually pretty great too. Obviously, you know, it doesn't look as simplistic as his brother Gil, but I think, yeah, that's that's one of my favorite favorite artwork on that one too. I actually did a drawing of this actually, which I'll, I'll put right here. Like, I actually did a drawing of this. I did it previously before then, and I redid it again to make sure that I got the final touch because my drawing of that first time was horrible, but I actually redid it. So now it's like, okay, I've finally, finally got touch with it. That's when I really like it, thought I was getting really good at it. So yeah, and then there's Remy, obviously. Remy's, Remy's pretty good too. Again, not really my favorite because it looks a bit simplistic, but I still think the design of it looks pretty cool and his uh, character sprite looks pretty awesome as well. It's easy. Uh, geez, I thought that was a, I thought that was a chain right there. Is that? No, it's not a chain. Okay, n never mind. But still, yeah, Necro looks. He looks like he's so grumpy and mean and all of that. All their expressions, there is at least is different to like everyone else. He doesn't look the same. And then there's Oro. He's he's weird as a character. Like this design looks weird. Like the fact that he still has a bit of hair left over. It's still, <laughs> it's still, it still looks cool. But honestly, this is this is pretty sick. Like I do like the design of it. I would play him as well. Like. I would actually play a character of him. I've played him before. He looks kind of fun. And then there's Q with the creepy hand gloves that are white, creepy white hand gloves that he has right there. And then the mask right here. And then obviously the way he, um, the way he's dressed, it, it's smart, but then it's smart, creepy, but then casual at the same time. You know, obviously these are all the stages that are here. So this is what it is. It's like the sprite stages right here. They all feel, it all feels like a real life painting right there. But this is when every character had their own stage. But then there are two that shared the same stage. So Alex, Ken, Sean, Oro, they had their own, like they had to share a stage, but then everyone else had their own. So this is Ryu stage right here, as you can see. And then there's, there's Dudley stages. Obviously this is supposed to be London because he was, he is from London, so. You know, and that's Knightsbridge. Obviously, I never, I don't, remember, I don't see Knightsbridge looking like that. But I do love the the sprites on this one. This this sprite is the most beautiful one. And then there's, oh yeah, I forgot. Yun and Yang have their own have to share a stage as well. So obviously they're both from Hong Kong, which is what that's what it's supposed to look like. And yeah, this is yeah, this is dope, man. And then Makoto has her stage right there. Although to be fair, it looks kind of boring. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Like there's not much happening around there. But, and then there's Elena, unfortunately I can't get this on full screen, but whatever. This is Elena's stage right there. <clears throat> then there's like a, a bonus stage for Sean whenever he throws a basketball at you, yeah, yeah, after Perry. And Perry's not easy when you get into it first time, you gotta do it at the right time. There's Gil's stage right here, which is uh, pretty sick, it's pretty unique. Obviously those are the background arts right there, but of it is, obviously it's not that great. Yeah, this is the full result of how this all came together as a game like like when i look at this right now this just takes me back to so many memories on how i used to do some character designs when i was a kid like in school like primary and secondary and i don't know how i even got into that i just felt like i don't know i just wanted to do so much on that and i was so creative to the point where i used to do so much of it but yeah obviously um getting into the video game world doing concept art is not an easy road so as much as long as you know what you're doing and as long as you continue to stay creative then that's how you know go in the right path because obviously with art it takes time and it takes a lot of time into like trying to be as creative as you can and also trying to put more time into your own work so but yeah i think i'm gonna end it here that's all we got time for unfortunately but yeah i've i've really enjoyed how much i've really seen the, the genius under um diary keller's work as well and also yeah um akira as well being involved in developing ryu as a character as well and all these other artists right there like these are these are pretty these are pretty cool like i just got inspired by by so many of their work right here and honestly when i see this i will hope that you know towards towards the near future as well that there are like people like me who get basically get into these kind of things like obviously war black artists that do video game art and then they want to get into that obviously that's just my imagination but still doesn't mean it can't it can't be true but at the same time i actually really enjoyed looking at this right now but anyway if there is anything else you want me to react to feel free to comment down below as well i will be doing a review of this in my other channel so make sure you 
stay tuned and check that out. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace.